welcome to or welcome back to Auntie's Cakery. I am Tracy. In the picture I just showed, I will be making the center cake in this video, starting with a 12 inch vanilla cake. And here I have some delicious raspberry buttercream as filling. I'll put on a white chocolate ganache border to hold that filling in. And make the filling smooth and flat. Next, I'll give it a quick crumb coat, also using white chocolate ganache. I like using ganache because it sets up more firm, the buttercream. And after chilling it in the fridge for about 20 minutes, I will put another layer of chocolate ganache onto the cake. I love these little edgers. If you'd like to see how I make them, I do have a video of that on my channel. Then I covered this tier in some white marshmallow fondant, cut off the excess and smooth it out. And now for the wave ruffles. I'm using my pasta roller to make these all the same thickness. And I'm not rolling them out too thin, I'm just using a number six on the pasta wheel. Then I'm cutting out kind of hill shapes and I'll turn these into the ruffles. I'll do that with a dark blue, a medium blue, and a light blue. After I've got all those cut off, I'm going to thin the edge. I'm actually using my fondant roller for this. time to glue it onto the cake. And to glue it on, I'm using plain water. Wrap it around like that. And then I'll bend the top down just a bit for effect. Now the next strip. having a little bit of a hard time with this one. But we all struggle in life sometimes, don't we? I think I want to overlap these colors. So let's stick that dark blue under the light blue. That little rip won't be showing. I'll just cover it right up. And like I said before, I don't mind showing you guys the process I go through to create these cakes, even if I make mistakes. And I'll just continue to layer and flare.
Okay, that tier is done. Now I'm moving on to the middle tier, onto which I will use a brush embroidery technique to create this flower pattern. To transfer the pattern onto the cake, I drew a design on a strip of parchment paper. And on the back side, I took some black petal dust. So when I traced it over with a pencil, the black petal dust transferred onto the cake. And as you know, petal dust is used for cake decorating and is non-toxic. In this bag, with a number two round tip, I have some maroon colored royal icing. I'll just pipe a little strip of icing along the design, and then using a small round paintbrush that has a little bit of water on it, it's just damp, I'll brush from the outside to the inside on each petal. After I've got all those flowers embroidered, I'll move on to the leaves. And here I have kind of a mustard yellow colored royal icing. I think it's a really good base color for the gold I'll be painting over later. And I'm using the same brush embroidery technique to texture those. I'm also going to paint the center of the flowers gold and the vines. Oopsie! I'm just using a little water to clean that up.
I will add some dots. I'll put some dots in the center of the flowers and around the design as well. If you watch the watercolor cake I published right before this one, you'll know that a bride came to my house asking for three wedding cakes at her wedding. And I was so excited. We designed them together. We did one groom's cake and two wedding cakes, the watercolor one, this wave brush embroidered one, and then a simple black and white cake for the groom. It was a really fun experience. And the end result in the picture was just beautiful. All those three cakes on display, loved it. I'm just placing these dots randomly where I think they will look good. I think dots add a lot to a piece. royal icing dries, I'm going to mix up some gold luster dust with some lemon extract and paint the edges of those beautiful blue ruffles. And this is the top tier. It is a six inch tier. I just covered it in a beige color fondant. I'm just putting splotches of gold randomly on the cake. I really like that the gold is repeated throughout the entire design. So it looks like my royal icing is a little dried. You can see that it's matte colored now instead of shiny. So I'll paint the gold over that mustard yellow color. See how the gold really pops? I love it. have it and they look great all together on display thank you so much for watching i invite you to subscribe gotta get those subscribers up thanks again bye